Hi, welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, we'll be talking about GRIS, a satellite that measures uh, the water storage. Uh, so we'll, we'll provide you some details about that. So it's a sun-synchronous orbit, and there are two uh, or twin satellite system, and it, it covers the entire globe. And it, you know, the spatial resolution is you know pretty low. Um, that means uh, it's a pretty coarse spatial resolution from 300 to 400 uh, kilometer. And the temporal coverage is, it, it started in 2000 to March 17, and it's operational until now. And you know, temporal resolution, 250 gravity profile per day. Um, so that's, that's a typical, you know, observation from um you know chris so the thing is it's just it's it's a gravitation field measurement but what happens is that when there is movement of water in a certain place then that gravity change so um and then by way of measuring the, the change in in water water storage in an area we can quantify you know the spatial temporal dynamics of water in that area, or just the presence of water in that area for a certain period of time. And then that's that tells us about drought, that tells us about you know water availability in the soil or the, the groundwater. Um, so that that's a pretty good um, indicator of water resource parameter. And one of the things that we can use GRIS data is that we can, you know, it's a month like it's it's a monthly data. So um, and we can map, you know, for each month, and then we can subtract with the long-term average, uh, and then we can get like change. That means anomaly for each month. Um, you know, what is 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 it increasing or decreasing trend of water storage in that area? That tells us a lot um, uh, about groundwater storage or you know soil moisture and what have you.